This is a presentation of Viewpoint 3D, release 2.305. Viewpoint um, 3D basically allows rapid creation of 3D interactive content or, or non-interactive content. That content can show time and date and it can also show database data. With version 2.305 we've added texture sliders and scrolling as we can see above in this image. Um, these can be static text or they can be text from an RSS feed or text from, for example, um, any ODBC database. In addition, the slider which we're seeing here, which has remote data controlled, that can be linked to a database such that if there is no data in that field, uh, that slider doesn't activate and will only activate when data arrives. So it's quite easy to build up um, data tables, um, airport flight information screens, stock market, general data um, without any programming. Uh, so so uh, just configuring the actual objects involved. What we can see here in this scene is a basic reflective surface. This object here which I've just highlighted or selected. And we can see a number of objects flowing around a central point which we call flow objects. This feature is a built-in function um, to the objects and uh, there is a focus point and a parent object so it's very easy to simply move that entire assembly up and down and position it wherever you want to have it. What you'll see is as I drag it left the face of the objects face towards the green sphere in the front lower center of the screen. Um, that's because that's the focus object. You can have a focus object if you want or you can have fixed focus. That focus object can also be a moving um, model or whatever you like and the objects will track it and that makes setting up this type of animation very very simple. Okay so we've got these button objects here which I'm moving and if I click that the animation will run in the other direction and I can click that back and forth left and right um, so you can build up user interactive scenes very very simply. The system is based on objects and if I enable all the objects we can see those here outlined in their uh, their boxes and one of the features of Viewpoint 3D is that it's very easy to uh, duplicate those objects and we've got quite a large number of uh, standard example forms uh, which can be used to create any types of scenes so for example you can simply highlight that reflective surface copy it to a new scene that you're making copy the uh, the text uh, which has a little animation running on it moving it back and forth um, and build up scenes from a, a large library of objects without having to know too much about setting the parameters. Not that setting the parameters is too complicated because in 3D you've got the usual XYZ um, origin of the object, a scale and of course the text which is there and other features uh, which we can we can see here including lighting characteristics. So it's quite easy to build up scenes very rapidly and have those scenes linked to RSS feeds or database data or textual data. So you can have a 3D animation running which automatically updates with current information meaning that the scenes don't have to be remade and uh, retransmitted. Okay, one of the other benefits of, uh, of this type of system is that um, we can basically um, switch it directly to, for example, 2D plus depth or WoW VX and here's a WoW VX encoded screen. It's been compressed, this would normally run at full HD um, or 4K resolution so you wouldn't get some of the banding that we can see here in the grey scale top. But uh, it does work uh, at very high frame rates. It's um, a modified driver that we've developed to enable that under OpenGL and also under Direct3D. Um, in addition we have another multi-view shader which will encode for up to 32 different uh, views for auto stereoscopic displays with a, a variety of parameters which are very easy to set. So um, let's just switch this into a quick 3D mode and uh, make it do a quick fly around fly circle and uh, now we've got the camera flying through the scene. Obviously this can be programmed and, and set up as needed as can a, a range of uh, waypoints to make a fly through path. So um, 
it's really very easy to create animations, fly-throughs with live data, uh, with weather effects, clouds, um, and that really making that look as good as possible is more a, a graphic creative um, job than a computer programming job, which is what we are doing with this software. So please forgive us for the quality of some of our uh, demonstration material. So um, I can just stop that running by clicking the stop button here and uh, I can then scan back to any position I want and click the demo button and we'll run into the demos and here basically we can uh, have a slideshow of 3D scenes showing a variety of content the loading bar doesn't appear when the system's running full screen and um, and loading is also um, a relatively fast event for most uh, scenes even some that are quite complex what we can see on this scene is uh, some of the shaders for glass the video shader here uh, which is um, a hardware video to texture technique which we've developed in this scene here we can see a very <clears throat> complex boat model and this scene here is uh, uh, has the viewpoint set to uh, a little spaceship which is flying back and forth so the objects spin around as that object passes and here we've got a very complex model of a boat a Riva boat and the next uh, example shows some particle effects running and again a very complex model of a car uh, with all the details including brakes, exhausts you can see on the right the back of the car there we have a particle effect for exhaust so that gives you a basic idea of uh, what, what viewpoint can do very very quickly uh, with a little bit of training anybody can create content and uh, we, uh, we hope that the software um, will, be, will be useful thank you